Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the undersea adventure of fish food. I'm Marcus Aurelius, and this is Dominions 5, Warriors of the Faith, and we are playing the underwater nation of Yis. And we are doing both well and unwell. We haven't even cleared our cap circle. We do have this pesky island here in one corner, and we have absolutely no money to speak of, but we did capture a throne in the first episode. That is like a achievement for me. And it it's great and not great at the same time. Why do I say that? Well, it's a fantastic throne. I definitely want it. It brings gold and resources and enables the recruitment of a Triton trooper. But look at the province. Only about 3,000 people, hardly any income. So the, the income's gonna get bolstered by the throne, but I really wish the throne would have been in like a province like this. Now we can't build anything here because it borders our capital and our capital needs all the resources it could get to start producing our Moravok Knights, which we haven't produced any of yet, even though it is already fall, so the first year is almost over. And the reason for that essentially is just we can't afford them. We just get their 150 gold a pop. So that's where we're having some problems here. Let's get some uh, promise defense here. We're claiming the throne with Lord Guppy. Meanwhile, in our home province, Shatan here is getting some guys, but I don't think this is nearly enough to take out the Triton Sea, but we got to move somewhere because we are running out of time. Our enemies are around. You see Oceania here to our west, very close. They're right next to their own throne. To the southeast, we have Riley. There they are. They seem to be moving in the opposite direction of me, though. They're heading toward this throne here on land. And we have yet to find Jabalba, which also has to be on land somewhere. So, interesting fact there. No Pelagia either, or um, Atlantis. I'm sure we'll find them at some point, though. Let's end the turn. All right, we got some Conjuration, so now we can cast Summon Water Power. We have some more Alteration, just as a touch-up. We're going up to level 4 in order to, um, to get some good spells that we need. Lord Guppy has claimed the throne, and Lord Guppy has now gained some Heroic Quickness. So good for you, Lord Guppy. That is fantastic. We're finally recruiting some men-at-arms because we have resources, just not money. And they're not that much more expensive than our regular guys. We'll mix them in, though, with our regular armored guys. All right, Chitan. You are going to be... I kind of like the idea of a stupid fish name combined with an overly pompous, like, rank. Like, Lord Guppy. So I was thinking maybe something like First Admiral flounder <laughs> first admiral flounder all right first admiral we need you to uh do something all right actually we can start site searching i guess except look at all of our randoms are earth like look at all these two earths we have pretty much everybody there's another one all we're getting is two earths i mean that is crazy that's a 25 percent chance that we have got well literally every single time except for the the two guys that are with our army. But okay, Lord Guppy and team, where are you going to head? I think you should go to the Unforgiver. Let's just, let's just get the provinces around around our throne here. This has 6,000 people. This has 7,000. And these are Marrows. We might want to move up here and kind of swing up like this. But then who's going to clear this area out here? Because we, we also have to make a make a border with Oceania. Atlantean Militias and Shamblers. We need all of this, really. How about we do... Oh, our Winter Dominion is affecting this poor little island. Let's go Unforgiver, Deep Black, Griffia. Yeah, let's just kind of swing around. I don't think Oceania is really moving in this direction right now. So we'll pull that. Meanwhile, First Admiral Flounder is just going to sit around for right now. He can't, unfortunately, do line formation. Let's give you... I don't think you need five bodyguards just yet. So we'll put you up a little bit. We'll put these gentle creatures on the flank. And these guys are just going to hit them hard. Um, 
I mean, any of these mages could help us, but it just seems like a waste to use a two earth random just for their one water. What do we have here? Shark tribes, so they're berserkers. Um, we could take the island. Archers. We all have shields, right? Alright, first admiral. Take the island. It's not going to give us any resources, but whatever. Meanwhile, again, we have no money. It's just so sad. Let's, um, I guess get another commander. And just get a bunch of our best marrows, anyway. We have another scout, Bannon. Let's see what's up here. Okay, this guy, another throne. I'm trying to find the rest of our enemies. I have so many scouts. Oceania is actually expanding quite nice. They're going to come close to Relay soon. Hopefully they'll fight with each other and not me. Actually, what I really need, although I don't have the money for it, I need 600 gold to start building a fort here on Troll Sea. Kato? Katie? Kale? Kalt? Maybe you could do it. What's cool is... Oh, there's, there's 10,000 people in this island, so that's pretty decent. We could build a fort here, and then we could use the sailing ability to hit all these other little islands because they're only one water province away. Unfortunately, if we take Foenshire, we can't go anywhere from there. It's it's two provinces away from Suthu. But we can hit this island, as we showed, by going from Dardania to Og Woods to Ironwood Forest. So we have some we have some choices here. All right, let's go. End the turn. Two battles. Okay. Oh crap. Oh, crap. Why does this always happen to me? Anyway, we have a battle in Unforgiver. Wait, Relay's attacking our island? Why would they do that? Okay, oh, Shark Knight. Tons of troopers. And, of course, the troopers are heading straight for our our weak flank. Oh, no, they're, they're angling down. The shark's trying to get away. He will not survive. Oh, nice. We just took out the rider with a uh, watery death. Come on, cast some magic, guys. Let's get these guys taken down. Our marrows simply can't do the work. They're all poisoned now. They can't do the work by themselves. All right. We're winning, but we're taking... Oop, that's not what I wanted. We're taking horrendous losses. Well, this time only four. That's not bad, actually. It looked worse than it was. All right. What's what Riley bring into our island? This is our island. It borders our capital, jerks. So we got a ton of slaves. I'm not too worried about them, but they do have nets. So this is not that great. They have a trader prince. No profit or anything. Doesn't appear to have any magical ability. Kill a bunch of slaves, guys. Not that that's a particularly ethical thing to do, but they are slaves that are trying to kill you. So, you know what I mean? Oh, and they're running. Slaves are done. This is just paving the way for First Admiral Flounder. Yep, they're all running. Hell, Relay lost the battle. Holy moly, so I didn't... I thought I actually had to get in a fight with them, but apparently I didn't. So now here we come with our organized golden ranks of, uh, of Marrow. Yeah, I don't think this is going to work out too well for you guys, but we'll see. Anything's possible. Yeah, our, our weak guys are taking the lead. At least they're brave. I mean, you can't say anything about their bravery. <laughs> Meanwhile, what are you guys doing down? Come on, join the fight, fellas. We don't pay you to sit on your ass. That was... something. Now, here's my question, folks. We are on an island. Where are those mountains? Like, there's, there's water, and then mountains, but... Oh, nice. Province again plus 10. But, as you can see here, no mountains. Well. Alright, so Relay, why are you doing this? 
why are you even... I mean, there's places right next to you. There's Whirling Sea. Look at Whirling Sea right there. It would be great for you. You'd love it there. But no. Oh! And here's Atlantis. Wow, they snuck right into me here. They must be They must be somewhere right... Actually, I don't know where the hell they are. I guess they must have just snuck in here after I looked here. Because I know what these places are called. Oh, actually, that's probably because they're only two away from my border. The pit. All right, well, we... Wow, what's wrong with you? There must be some kind of disease-causing site here. Oh, shit. All right, Bannon, get out of here. Get, 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 get out of here. Don't give First Admiral Flounder the, uh... Don't give him the, uh... The disease. All right. Forgive her. Regular Tritons? I mean, we'd be foolish not to try to take that. Unforgiver's another province with, uh, oh, Caves of the Deep. Neat. All right, we are saving up some money, so Kale, to go back to Troll Sea. It'll take two turns, then we'll build. I, I like to build my first fort. We'll start building it right before the year ends, so that's all right, I guess. All right, CRI, you are going to be... Hmm. You are going to be... Captain. Captain. What's a fish that starts with a C? Or, I got it. Captain Koi. Doesn't start with a C, but it kind of works. Captain Koi. And what are you going to get? Oh, you're just going to get these guys. The problem is we don't have... There's a regular guy. That's good. The problem is we don't have a lot of them. We need, we need volume, too. It's not just... Um, it's not just skill we need. We need volume. So I might actually want to just recruit a few of these guys. There we go. I mean, we should be doing pretty well in the research. After construction four, where do I want to go? That's right, enchantment five. Perfect. All right. Yeah, you're just going to sit around. You guys are conquering. So we are getting two provinces at a time, although it's going to have to stop eventually. The good times are going to uh, stop rolling soon when we run out of people. Anything else I need to do? I guess move our scouts around. Hey, let's, we're trying to find Javalba. They've got to be around here somewhere. And where could the capital of Atlantis be? I mean, it has to be one of these guys, right? Ro Adan? Where are you exactly? Don't know. We'll head down to Ocean of Plenty. Yeah, still no Jabalba. There he is. Let's head. I mean, we've... Where are these guys? We'll, we'll head to Bottomless Ocean. We're going to just check this little area out here. And Pelagia. I have no idea where they could be. Alright. I know Captain Koi is doing nothing. That's fine. He's relaxing. He's about ready to go into battle. All right, Green Sea, how'd we do? Okay, this is our big army with mages and prophets and all that stuff, and we're against regular boring old tritons. So we should be able to, to crush them. There are a lot of them. And they do have those poisoned daggers, which suck. All right, how'd we do? We did lose four spearmen and an infantry, but we prevailed. Our druids should start getting heroic, too. They're killing all kinds of things. Lake Fortune. Okay, this one's going to be a little tighter, I think, because this army is just troops. No magical support. And these are not just tritons, but I believe turtle. Oh, no, shark tribe. Oh, well, that's okay. Shark tribe, they just, uh, they berserk. Oh, no, I don't want the grid. But I will turn on the... I know people like the uh, the colors. I never do that. But here you go. Merry Christmas. Isn't looking good, let me tell you. God, these marrow. Alright, so we lost that battle. Looks like... Uh, looks like uh, First Admiral Flounder is uh, feeding the fishes. <laughs> Wow. I mean, this is what we did. We took out eight of them. 
Tritons without any armor. Shameful. Only two of our guys made it back. Huh. There's Oceania. Same stuff we saw last time. Against some Ichthyids. Alright, we need to be careful, right? Because the AIs are on really high bonus level because of the difficulty level I set. So losing an army like that, while it's cute in a game against normal AI, it, it could sink me. <laughs> sink me. <laughs> Get it? it could, <laughs> in uh, in this game against this harder level AI. Unrest. Great. That's just what I need. Alright, so Lake Fortune was kind of a, a miss there. So it's a good thing we didn't try to go against these guys. But that does kind of tell me that my only army that's worth a damn is this army down here. And even they're getting weakened. Green Sea. We do have money now, though, which is great. Let's go to Deep Black. And you know what that means? That, well, I need to save some for the castle, though. But I I want to... Even just without a blessing, a Morvok Knight is still pretty neat. But I'm afraid... I'm so afraid of them getting poisoned. But their defense skill is so high, they might not get hit. But they are very expensive just to get poisoned and die. Eh. Let's just keep on keeping on. Actually, I think I will recruit, however, a Morgan champion. Well, 250 gold. Holy balls. Um... And 53 resources, that's pretty much... Oh, wow, why are you so... Why are you so expensive? The Morgan Princess is actually cheaper. Why? Because she's wearing a crown and not a helmet. Cheaper in resources, I mean. Certainly not cheaper in gold or commander points. Yeah, look at all this. Ooh, boy. Alright. But, I mean, we are the Morgan Queens, so we need to have a Morgan out there at some point. Toward Hilbra, blah, blah. Why don't we have you do some... Uh... Oh, there's Pelagia. So already we have one, two, three, four enemies within four ticks of our capital. This is going to go... This is going to go stupendous for us. I can just tell. I can just see it already. We haven't had a, a two-water random yet. I mean, what's happening with you guys? All right. Well, we only have one expansion army now because our last one just got killed. I think this one, this this story might end before it begins here, but we'll see. Ah, oh, there's Jababa. So that, did they start on the throne? That would be nuts. No, I, they can't do that. That doesn't happen. Let's uh, let's go into the land and take a look. Boat eater. All right, Captain Koi. Give you some more troops, some flankers. But that's still not enough for you to do anything. Not against these super hard independents. We can probably take Marrows, maybe. I don't, I don't love our chances against Sea Trolls. Alright, so now they border us. They border us. Gosh, I just hope they're more interested in fighting each other than they are in fighting me. Because we are starting off not on the best foot ever. Alright, Deep Black Sea. I mean, this army's great, but they lose a couple guys each time, and eventually they're just going to run out of steam. Shamblers are heading up to the north flank, but we're closing in on them to the south. The Atlanteans are pretty weak. Our basic guys don't even have armor taking them out. But again, we lost another five, and each time, we lose a little bit more. Uar! Uar is now enormously strong. He must be a mage. So that enormous strength is going to help him quite a bit, I'm sure. Alright, more Atlanteans. We'll just keep this gravy train rolling until it falls off the tracks, I guess. Doesn't look like anyone's really designed... Well, they're building up here. Maybe they're trying to go for Boat Eater. But they better not go for Lake Fortune. As long as Triton C stays, because I can't let them take my cap circle... Okay, you are going to search for the Sites of Magic, please. 
All right. So we have our first Morgan. And... Par pardon for that car. There's someone who drives like a... I don't know, it's like a 1950 Chevy or something. I mean, I've never seen it, but it sounds like... I mean, modern-day cars don't make that much noise when you turn them on. All right, so you're a Morgan. So we're going to call you Guten. Get it? Guten the Morgan? Right? Guten Morgan? I know my fans from, from Germany probably got that. All right. So one air, one water, which is pretty stupid. I mean, honestly, like that, those are... She's a great fighter and leader of troops, and, and I'm sure she could thug up appropriately, but for, like, magical skills, that's that's not great. In fact, did I lose a random or something? No, that's just what they come with. These ladies are the ones that have very little diversity, though, in this race. That's why I took the, the leader I did. All right, but we need more researchers. We need more fighters. I'm trying to decide whether I really want to get these guys. They do cost four research or four resources more than these guys. And these guys cost 19, so for every, like, five of these I get, I could get an extra. I can get six of these. I guess that's not that big a deal. Especially now that I have a lot of resources. That's a pretty solid little group there. I don't need any more scouts or commanders. All right, and I do have enough money to build rock walls. Those are some expensive rock walls. I mean, they must be gold rocks. Diamond rock. All right, Captain Koi, as much as I as much as I enjoyed having you for a minute, we're going to give all of your troops to uh to Guten here. Actually, Guten, what can you do to buff yourself? You can water power, which is fine. You're already mirror imaged. You could quicken yourself. You can ice shield, you could water strike, water shield. You could bless yourself, which is all right, I guess. All right, we'll have you bless yourself. We'll have you summon some water power so you're extra strong. We'll have you water, which is better, water shield. Makes some difficult to hit, 20 fatigue, ice shield. Randomly block about half the attacks. I think water shield is better in this instance. Although we could just cast them both and just have her. Actually, we could just thug this lady up. Without even having her lead troops. Ice shield. Hold a turn to get her get her strength back. And then just attack. Whatever. I kind of like that, actually. She does have great morale bonus that Captain Koi doesn't, though. Guess it's okay, though. All right. So that's what's going to happen then. Captain Koi, you are going to do your usual thing. Actually, we're going to hold an attack to give her time to spell up. And then these guys over here, they're going to hold an attack. And then Guten Morgan is going to do her little thuggishness. I, hopefully this will work out. I honestly have no idea. We're just, we're just hoping for the best here. Should I attack closest or should I attack rear? Attack rear. I mean, it's going to take her, like, what? It's going to take her one, two, three, four, five turns before anything even happens. So, the battle might be won by then. Who knows? But anyway, let's see how she does against Triton Troopers. And if we lose this battle, I don't know. Might be the end of us. There's Jabalba. Right there. Okay, so I know where everyone is right now, except for the capital of Atlantis and the capital of Pelagia. Research is still looking good. We're building our fort. All right. Let's see how we do. Well, he did find two magic sites in Mu. The Dormant Tender Gods are awakening, but not ours. All right, Triton C. Okay, Guten, do us proud. Everybody's just hanging out, okay. Oh, he doesn't have any guards. Not a big deal. Okay, so she's blessed. So that what does that give her already? Morale and reinvigoration, of course, because we don't... Our pretender is not out yet, but the reinvigoration is still quite useful. The water power is going to help. Here they come. Our troops are standing in a line. Well, in a group. We're going to take their wikis out first. 
All right, so she's got her water power. Sure, fatigue's already 26. That's not the best place for it to be. Looks like she's not even going to get into the battle before it's over. If we could take these troopers. But I think she'll retreat. She's got her water shield up. Now her ice shield. So it takes her a little while to get dressed. <laughs> oh, yep. They're running. But now we have our better troops. And she should be... Come on, Guten. She's all set up. I mean, she looks... She's protective force. She's nice. 38 fatigue. It's not the best. It's not the worst. We might want to consider cutting out one of those spells. And here she comes. We've already won the battle. Okay, so... Took her a little while to get ready. But... We'll work on that. We did win the battle. And we only lost 10. Only one of them was our man-at-arms. Which is kind of... Silly, because they're not really men at arms. They're marrow at arms, right? But All right, Griffa. We have some shamblers. We should be able to just stomp all over these guys. And it appears that that is what's happening. We did, however, lose another four. Benin. Extraordinary Agility. Is that another mage with this group here? No, Benin's actually the backup commander. Good for you, Benin. I don't even know you're doing anything. All right. Atlantean. Can we take 30 Atlantean militias and shamblers? We're, we're getting really beat down here. But I suppose we're going to have to try. And, okay, so they've taken this area north. So good thing I got this when I did. Good thing I got this when I did. A lot of population here, as we knew. So now, do we try to freeze them out by going to Bottomless Ocean? Where we might actually have to tangle with them, because they might attack it too. 60 units. Tritons and Sea Trolls. All right, well, we need to change a few things up. First off, Guten... I wanted you to summon water power because it would be less fatiguing. But it might be taking time away from you. Maybe. You know what? I'm just going to stick with water shield and get rid of ice shield. I've decided. And I'm not going to wait. I'm just going to send her right out. But these guys, I'm actually going to move back a little bit. Oops, I forgot to tell this guy to hold. Alright. Got holding the tag. Okay, so we lost our flankers. Let's see how Guten does under these circumstances. And then we can probably... We'll let Pelagia take Bottomless Ocean if they want it. And we'll go to Lake Fortune. Maybe Og Woods. Alright. All right, so we finally got a non-Earth random. We got an Astral random. What did he find here? The Caverns of Underwater Ice and the Depths Unnamed. So he, to Earth, and he didn't find anything Earthy. Oh, well. Let's go down to Unforgiver. Let's, I'm going to beef up all of our border provinces just a bit. Not that these Tritons are going to make any difference at all. Troopers might. And I guess the island. And okay, that's good. We don't technically border... Well, we do border Oceania now in, in Giffa as we just, that we just took. Alright. Cool, I guess. So let's get another commander. And a mage. And a bunch of our guys here. And a Morvac Knight. Let's see if we can get two. Okay, two Morvac Knights. Because, I mean, our guy's got to show up at some point. He's got to be here. And then Guten could have some, some little buddies. Are we solid here? Not really. Where do I want to hang out? 
I guess Sea of Rond is pretty decent, but I want to know what's going on. There's Atlantis. Okay. So I want to make sure what's going on with our with our enemies. So actually, I need someone. I need eyes on Riley. That's what I really need. But we have a guy down there already. Jabal was not really a threat to us. They're probably the least threatening to us of anybody. Let's head back to our near border here. You found Atlantis, so I just want you to find out what this is here. You get to the rest of this island. You... I guess we'll stay in Shadow Sea where the throne is. For the time being, I want you to stay here on this island. And I think that's where we're looking good here. All right. All right, Soth to God. Okay, this army's still still kicking, still hanging around. Oh, we should be able to trash these guys pretty easily. They do have poison like everything else, but... Okay, the Shamblers are trying an interesting tactic. They're trying to kill our weakest, weakest link. Luckily for us, the Atlanteans have turned tail and run. So we are going to be victorious yet again. The Darts. All right, Guten, I'm expecting great things from you. Oh, Water Ward, huh? Oh, look at this. Look at all this good stuff. We have a Hydromancer. And just bear in mind, folks, this is what our uh, pretender god is. <laughs> I mean, we're not talking great mystical beings here. All right, are these going to hit Guten? No, they're... Well, no. They're going to take our troops. Guten, are you like a spell singer? Why are you so slow? Oh, you that's why. Spell singers suck. They take twice as long to cast spells. That's the problem. That's what makes... Okay, so who? I guess when we get the spell, liquid body, and then just send her out. Not, not, not waste any time. And be throwing a couple good items. But she's still... I mean, she's still buffing herself up. Although she just did 22 damage to that troll. He just got 11 of it back. She just... Okay, so... She's winning, at least. I don't know where the Kraken is. Oh, it's fleeing. It's turning tail. Okay, Guten, what do you... Okay, there she goes. I'm like, wait, stop sitting around. Go kill something, please. Oh, come on. You're faster than a troll. So disappointing. Falon. Heroic precision. The darks. Oh, wait. Did we just look at the dark? Yeah, we did. Never mind. All right. Who's Falon? Oh, okay. So all of these guys are heroes now. This whole batch. They're all heroes. They're all incredible heroes. All right. Looks like Oceania is having some trouble... Expanding in my direction. We still have some neutral provinces here to the north. We're pretty much blocked off, although they did not take Bottomless Ocean. All right, Guten, I'm, I'm getting kind of sick of you. So we're going to not cast... There, yeah, just Blessing, just Water Shield, and then go. Do your thing. Hope the best. Lake Fortune, hopefully Atlantis is not going to try their hand at it. Although we are now two away from their capital. Although technically they're two away from my capital, so, you know, fair's fair. And still no, uh, still no, I hear you can talk to fish. Another earth random. The hell, guys? All right, that's fine for now. So what did we just get? We just got, we got our conjuration, but then we got what? Enchantment. Two. No, that was first. Oh, evocation. No, we had that already too. Oh, I get it. We got we got alteration to four. I forget what that was doing for us though. Oh right, liquid body. Right. Right. Alright, excellent. Okay. So Guten, change all of this up. You are now just gonna liquid body. That's it. Blast liquid body and go. We don't need water shields, fine. 
you guys, do we try our hand at killing some marrows? They're our own people. So it's not the nicest thing we could do. I have to change all these guys up here. So, water shield is now... Liquid body. Okay, and is, is there anything better than water strike? We do have... Ooh, iron. We have iron skin too, which is pretty neat. Not as of yet. They can't afford numbness. They could, I guess, if they do. So they could do summon water power and then numbness, but I'd rather just have them water strike. Water strike's not that bad, and it only takes one water. Like, 13 damage? I'll take that. I mean, numbness doesn't do any damage at all. It just um, fatigues them. And I know it's, it can affect up to three people, but... And Lord Guppy, you're you're fine too. All right, Blue Beauty. I guess you're just gonna search for magic sites, right? That's what you do. All right, Tithai, I'm gonna call you First Admiral Flounder the Second. May you do better than the one who preceded you. And actually, what I want you to do, First Admiral, is you are just going to be a troop delivery service. You're going to go up here. Wish you can go all the way to Lake Fortune in one in one move, but you can't. And then you can give your troops to these guys, and I you can, we can get the Morvok Knights to uh, to Guten, so she has some buddies. All right, you're going to stay in Shadow Sea. You're going to stay in Fowenshire, and that's all we got. Okay, so we found another magic site. I hear you can talk to fish. Has arrived, thank goodness. Ooh, Atlantis versus Jabalba. So our enemies are already fighting each other. So Atlantis, the giant frogmen, they have a Fumsa, the coral queen. Wow, she's she's poisonous, of course. She is a level three priest, which is a, a level of priestiness that our nation can only dream of. And that's it, though. She's got a lot of hit points. She's pretty big. Although I wouldn't tell her that to her face. And apparently an army of mercenaries. Against Shibalba, which also looks like they have an army of mercenaries. Durand. Yeah. And just random crappy guys. And then we have Zot Zolba, the Mooch Aja. Level 1 priest. Nothing fancy. Water and Earth. Alright. Let's get the cinematic view on this one. Speed it up. Since we are running out of time, I think we're almost at 40 minutes. I just essentially want them to kill each other. I don't really care for who wins. I just want them to do damage to each other. But it looks like Atlantis is taking the lead here. All right, Blue Beauty. I hope this army still has enough juice to make this happen. These are our brothers, our Marrow brothers. All right, our flank. All right, they're already running. They just tore our flank up, though. Okay, we have to go back home. <laughs> we have to really go back home. This army is pretty much done. Lake Fortune. All right, Guten. Seriously, I've minimalized you as much as I can. Just do what you need to do. You know, it's actually spell singers takes a long time, but it's supposed to cause less fatigue. So how does she get twelve fatigue just from blessing herself? I mean, again, right? It says less fatigue, right? Yeah, also much less fatiguing. So what, would she have like 30 fatigue if she wasn't a spell singer? Just from blessing herself? Alright, well now she has liquid body, which gives her... Oh, and oh yeah, now that our pretender's here, she also has invulnerability and frost weapons. Oh shit, she is nuts. 21 defense, 16 protection, which is actually less than I thought it would be. 23 combat speed, which is amazing. 15 attack skill, which is also less than I thought it would be. Well, we all can't be winners, I guess. All right, here she comes. Our front line is meeting the Triton front line. They are berserkers, remember, so they will not flee. She's heading for their command structure. She should be able to just wreck them. She is not wrecking them to the degree that I would have hoped. In fact, I 
I, I think she hit that one guy, but come on, what in the... Frost weapons. Okay, let's just take a look here. Her Golden Lance, attack 16, length 3, damage 14. I guess I'll have to give her a sword or something. It just, this is disappointing. After seeing the Morvac Knights just wreck my Enkidu, she took a hit. Oh, no, she didn't. Well, maybe she didn't. I don't know what happened, actually. Just kill this guy, at least. He doesn't even have but a dagger. All right. Thank goodness. We lost seven. Wow. Guten. She's a hero, though. For doing what? I don't know. Let's see. She she only killed one person. But apparently that that's all it takes. That's all it takes to be a hero. Oh, I didn't even check what kind of heroic skills she got. Please be useful. Strength. Not the best. But not bad. She should do more damage now. Presuming she hits. Okay. So the plan? The plan, Marcus? I guess Guten is going to head to Lucky Lake. Where... Did I not give you the Morvok Knights, Captain Koi? I guess I didn't. In a fit of ridiculousness. Okay, so Guten, you were going to go to um, home, I guess. Meanwhile, Captain Koi is going to move up to Lake Fortune. Or First Admiral Blounder is going to move to Lake Fortune. And then we're going to take Og Woods, if we can, to get another little, like, holdout around the armies of Atlantis. Palacio finally took Bottomless Ocean which leaves only Sea of Silence and the Hungry Sea, and, well, actually the Blue Waters. So there's some neutral areas to the west. This island hasn't been fully taken over, it looks like. We can get Foral Woods. And to the south, we have this little gap here between Oceania, Pelagia, and Relay. So things are getting dicey, folks. These oceans are swimming <laughs> with fish, with enemies, swimming, swimming with our foes. So we're going to have to stop them. I think we're doing okay, though. We have our second fort coming up in two months. We need to build a third one at some point. Well, we're, I, we're definitely going to build one on the island, but they've taken away the good locations. I guess Sea of Silence probably doesn't have any population. Um, that's my only other choice. Lake Fortune, I guess? Lake Fortune's a possibility? Green Sea, actually, is a possibility, but it's surrounded by Relay. It is our province, so unless they attack us, we'll keep it, but we'll have to hold it for five turns. It does have good good income potential. Might piss them off, though, right next to their capital. But regardless, we're well, well past 40 minutes, so once again, I'm Marcus Aurelius. I'd like to thank you very much for watching. I would like you to go out and do amazing things. Have a good one.